What's going on family? Welcome to Discover Flavor and today we're making creamy sausage and potato soup. I know y'all see that thing man. This stuff is delicious. So we're going to start off by prepping our poblano peppers. We're going to roast these off in the oven seeing as though we're not grilling them. So just take a sheet pan, lay them out flat. You can hit them with olive oil if you want to. Leave them seeds on and we're going to put it right in the oven. We're going to broil these things. So it'll take about, about like five minutes, seven minutes. You better watch it. And when you're done, we take it out. We're going to put it in a Ziploc bag so it continue to steam. Y'all see that steam right there? Y'all need that because it's going to re help remove the skin. So we're going to set this baby right there to the side. We're going to go ahead and go right in with our Italian turkey meat. Now we're going to put this on about medium high heat. This is a very lean meat, so we're going to definitely have to add some fat to it. So we're going to add a few tablespoons of olive oil, and we're going to let that cook down. We're gonna add our onions right on into the pot of the browning Italian turkey sausage. Got our diced garlic in there. We'll add that as well. We're gonna hit it with just a little bit more olive oil. Just for good measure. Give it a stir and we're gonna let this cook down. So we're gonna season, hit it with our salt, kosher salt here. Now we're gonna add our black pepper. I got some garlic powder and other seasonings in there as well. Let's give it a nice mix. Now we're gonna hit it with two tablespoons of flour. Okay, all purpose flour. Let's mix that up and get everything nice and coated. Now we're going to come in here with a half a cup of dry white wine. You can use the wine of your choice, it's all up to you. So we got one and a half pound of Yukon Gold potatoes. You can use rusted or red potatoes and cut them in about a one inch dice. Take the skin on or skin off, that's all preference. Now we got two cups of beef broth. Just pour that right in there. And we got two cups of chicken broth. Add that right in there as well. And I got a can of Rotel, okay. I love Rotel and it has the diced chilies in there as well. And we're gonna give that a nice old mix. Now we added some flavor in this thing. As it cooked down, those flavors are gonna intensify. That's what you want. So we got a few sprigs of thyme, fresh thyme, about three or four, again, your preference. 45 to give it the flavor it needs. So we can bring this to a boil. We're gonna let it cook down so that the, the juice is just reducing there. And we got some stuff we're gonna add to it. It's gonna change this, it's gonna change the game. So we're gonna cover this bad boy up and let the let the magic start. Now we got those roasted peppers. I know y'all forgot about them. We're gonna get the skin off. They set in steam so the skin comes off easily. They still hot, so be careful. And 
we're just gonna get those a nice little nice little dice we're just gonna add them right into that boiling deliciousness dropping stuff all over the, all over the place they gotta get in there though Give it a nice stir. Let it cover up and reduce just a tad bit more. Now we're gonna test these potatoes to see if they're tender enough. This is key in the next step. So we're gonna remove a portion of the potatoes. We got that bowl full, so we're gonna mash these guys. And it's gonna make it just, man, it's gonna make it taste a whole lot better. So you still got some whole pieces of potato, but then you got the mash in there as well. It's gonna make, add to the creaminess. Let's get those back in there. We got three fourth cup heavy cream gonna add in there as well. So slowly get that on in there. And we're gonna finish this with our grated Parmesan. Now, the recipe calls for one fourth to a half a cup of Parmesan, but hell, this Parmesan cheese, man. Use how much you want. Use how much you want. Me personally, I use a little bit over half a cup. Okay. Give it a nice little mix. Give it a taste. Without burning my tongue, we good to plate. So we're gonna go ahead and bring that delicious soup over to this beautiful bowl and just start ladling it in. Just get it on in there. Now this this soup has so many depths of flavor. It's sweet, it's spicy. It's well seasoned. You got your potatoes, your Italian sausages, your garlic and onions, your roasted poblano peppers. Add you some rice on top and you got a meal. Thank y'all for checking out Discover Flavor. I hope y'all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Hit that bell for notifications. Catch y'all next time. Peace.